Okay, let me show you guys how it look. Some on it. How much? I don't think I thought I was gonna need some salt, but I don't think I need it. I'm just giving it one. I see how it tastes. I should have put some more of that filling that I had because I had a lot of left, but that's all right. This will probably be my first video, you guys. Then, I, then the other one show you how I prepare my dinner on Sunday. Love, no, love, no, love. No. Mm -mm. no, 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 no good. Not on the bell pepper. No, 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 no. <laughs> and it's no, 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 no. <laughs> Tastes terrible. <laughs> but the bell pepper and the broccoli is awesome. Mm -hmm. Very good. Oh, yeah. All right. I'll see you guys in the next in the next video. I don't want to do eat my whole dinner right on the pan. Bye-bye.
Hello, happy Sunday, you guys. Welcome back to my cooking channel. Guess where I'm making? I'm making stuffed bell pepper. And you see all the degree that I have out. And I picked these up at Sam Club. I, think I like it because it's more bigger and stuff. Yeah. So, my ground beef. I'm not going to use all this ground beef. I'm just going to use a pound because I'm just only going to cook six. Also, when I use a normal, I usually use, you know, diced tomato and tomato sauce. <clears throat> also, Probably a tablespoon of each season with your sauce. Well, like I said, Uncle Ben rice. Cause it's more quicker when you use that. You don't have to be all on the stove. I like to buy this kind of stuff. It's already chopped up. And also, um, even though this got carrot in normal, I do not use carrot, but because where I was shopping at, I didn't want to go to no two stores, so I just picked this up because I use onion, bell pepper, and celery. Even though that I'm going to cut the top off my bell pepper and stuff, I'm going to saute everything. So this is the season I'm using, salt. Probably just use a little of this because it's got all the seasoning that I have in front of me. Um, this I like to use fresh garlic, little crushed pepper, oregano, Italian cheese. Now you could use only oregano. You don't have to use that. That's option. Black pepper, garlic pepper, Oh, this is garlic powder. I'm sorry. I said garlic pepper. I mean onion powder. And just maybe a teaspoon of chili powder. And that's all my ingredients, you guys. So, I'm going to go ahead and um, boil. Let me go ahead and uh, take the top. I'm sorry. Cut the top of the bell pepper. You know, get all the seeds and stuff out. And what I'm gonna do is, after I cut and get all the seeds, and I'm gonna boil uh, the bell pepper for about five minutes to get the bell pepper all soft. So that's what I'm gonna do next. All right. Okay, now I'm gonna go ahead and start cutting the top off. And if you see, see that little black, I don't really like that, but it's probably not going to hurt, but I like to cut that. If I see any kind of black stuff, you know, I take it off. That's just me. So I'm showing you guys. I'm not going to show you guys all of how, you know, because I don't want to make this video too long, but I'm just showing you how I cut my top. Then you always want to wash this and save and saute it. Okay, so what you do is you just go inside and remove the. Oops, jeez, you have to be careful. I'm doing a terrible job, but. Anyway, you just go and just remove that and you toss that in the trash. Okay? See this inside? You always want to wash that. Okay? You want to wash the inside of it. Just to scroll out the vein. See that? Yeah. So I'm just showing you how I'm cutting it. So when I come back, okay, because you want to make sure, oops, sorry, that you 
get all that stuff out. And then make sure that you wash the inside out too, okay? You know, and just make sure that you don't have no kind of brown spot and stuff. So when I come back, you will see how I don't cook all my six bell pepper. And then I'll be ready to boil it for five minutes to get the uh, bell pepper all soft, okay? <clears throat> Okay, you guys, now see how I cut up all of them. I haven't washed it yet, okay? So I just cut the top off and then I'm gonna cut, dice these up a little smaller. So now what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna go ahead and wash it. And after I wash it, um, inside and out, I'm gonna go ahead and, uh, cause I like to wash them in this drainer and so when i come back you will see me boiling boiling the uh bell pepper okay let's go ahead and wash it out Okay, now you see I kind of wash them up. See how clean they are. So now I'm just gonna put it in my pot. Then I'm gonna fill it up with water. Then, like I said, I boil these for five minutes. Only thing I'm doing is just making sure, you know, it get real softer. And <clears throat> the hard part of the body by cutting this up and burning ground beef and stuff, but. The rest is kind of really easy, so when you bake it in the oven, it's only going to take about five minutes. Okay. Okay, so now I got my water in, and I'm going to just go ahead and put it on the stove. I'm going to put my timer on for five minutes. You guys, I'm gonna sprinkle some salt. If I can count up the water. When people speak of salt, just bring the water up up to boil quickly. That's what I'm doing. Okay, you guys, I washed the some now Mr. Dice this up. And I caught him honey boy. Just showing you guys how I diced it up. Okay, just showing you guys. Okay, I finished dicing my bell pepper. Now I'm just browning my ground beef with all my season and the rest of my onions and soup. Okay. Okay, now I'm just brown one pound of my ground beef. So that's how I know I'm cooking because I just only had six bell pepper. 
And again, like I said, I did wash my hands. to wash my hand when I touch the ground beef. You guys, I got 57 seconds. Then I'm gonna see how my bell pepper is boiling. I'm going to drain the water and take the bell pepper out and drain it on paper towel. So what I'm doing this technique is just the bell pepper be soft on the outside. Okay. So I've got 36, 35 more minutes. Go ahead and drain it. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and uh, see, just came out of the water. I just drained it. See how it's smoking. Now I'm going to go ahead and turn it upside down on paper towel, okay? Okay, you see, my bell pepper is draining, draining, draining. Okay, so now I'm just to go ahead, finish browning my ground beef, you guys, okay? So now you guys, I'm going to show you how you start adding my season. And you should saw what I added early when I show you all my ingredients, my season for my bell pepper. I use a measure, but I know how much to put in, you know. Okay. So that's what I'm doing now. Just, I'm just, I'm just kind of in the sprinkling and stuff, you know. And if you a cook, you know just about how much season to put. Not too much salt. That's enough chili powder.
order to fry scarlet. Uh, that? Two teaspoons. I love onion because you say one cup. Don't matter. It all depends on how you like onions, okay? I just pour all of it. Bell pepper. You want to cut up. Okay, <clears throat> even though this has a little carrier, but you know what, you know, you guys want, you know, I don't really put carrier in it, but this is my only choice, so when you make this bell pepper, don't put no carrier in it. This is something that I don't feel like, I don't feel like picking it out, okay? I'll just go like that. And that's it, that's how much I'm using. Yeah, I just didn't feel like picking up the carrot, so it's not, people from the south do not put carrot in it, but again, like I said, I just didn't want to pick up the carrot, and didn't get that much in it, but probably tastes better, <laughs> yeah, so, so when you're making this, still follow my recipe, um, just get the onion, bell pepper, and the celery, if you want to cut it up and stuff, it's okay. But yeah, this is the basic of my stuffing. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and use, go ahead and put maybe about a tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce. Too much, but this could be this is kind of could be salty. I say two tablespoons, okay? That's what it is. But you can be a little salty. Mm. Stirring it up. Okay, on the side dish, I'm gonna go ahead and cut some broccoli, and that's the season that I'm gonna use. Okay. So I got my water bottle, now I'm going to put in, put in my broccoli. Okay, that's it. Let me just sprinkle some salt. Then once it did um, come to a boil, then I cover it up. Then I add some butter, you know. Ooh. And it's steamy. And that's my broccoli. Okay, you guys. My last two ingredients. 
that I'm gonna mix in is the tomato. Um, you know what they say, drain the tomato. You know, you have to drain the tomato because you don't want your bell pepper, you know, to be runny. So I'm gonna go ahead and drain this before I put in my meat. But save this juice, this tomato juice, when you bake it, you know, put it, but put the juice in your casserole pan. And then what I'm going to do, um, I'm going to pour half of this in my mix, and then I'm going to pour half of it in the bottom of my casserole dish. Not too much, because I don't want my meat mix to be runny. Nice and firm. And you know what? This is a lot. So I probably have a lot of this left over, you guys. Yep. See my bell pepper is all nice and soft. Okay. My rice is ready. Go ahead and mix it in. And after this, I just need to stuff it, you guys. Yep. It's gonna be a lot. It's gonna be a lot, lot left over. I might just put half this guy. A lot of bottom. I have a lot of this left over. So now I'm going to stuff my bell pepper and my cheese. I just remember um, when I used to cook this, I always used to just top it with cheese. But for the last five minutes, because this is already done, you just, you just, you know, melting the cheese. But I just remember I used to just only put cheese on the top. I'm going to do something a little different, you guys. I'm going to go ahead and put some meat measure and the cheese. You know if I can, because I love cheese. Yeah. Okay, so now I'm getting ready to mix it. Stuff my pepper. And I'm just going to do this on the plate. And then I'm going to put in my casserole. You know if I can show you guys how I do it. Now I'm going to go ahead and wash my hand because I probably, you know, put cheese and stuff. So I'm going to go ahead and wash my hand. So now I'm just going to go ahead and start filling my bell pepper. You guys see that? You guys get a little closer as you can see. Look at this face. 
and again you guys at the last minute I'm, then I'm gonna put the cheese when they melt it see how I'm doing it then I put some more meat Oh, that's hot. So you get the pictures. So I'm not gonna, I don't want this a long video. I'm just gonna go ahead and fill everything up. Okay, you guys. I got my stuff there. Perfect for now. I'm gonna get my casserole dish. Bake it for five minutes. I got a lot of this left, you guys. I think it's something to cook with it. On Monday, yeah. But yeah, now I'm just go ahead and put it in my oven, 400 degree. Okay. Okay, you guys, go ahead and put it in my casserole dish. I did say five minutes, but I mean 20 minutes. So after 20 minutes. Um, take it out and then sprinkle some cheese on top of it. Sorry about that, you guys. See how I'm doing it? So again, like I said, go ahead and put it in that 400 degree oven for 20 minutes. Okay, it's been 20 minutes, so now I'm just going to put the remaining cheese on top for five minutes. And I'm going to put some ketchup because it looks kind of dry. Not too much. See how I'm doing it. Just where it could be moist. Oh, that's my timer, you guys. Now I'm going to put it back in the oven for five minutes and my dinner is ready. Okay, and my broccoli is ready. Just put some butter in it.
I'll just add my butter to my broccoli and it is ready. Okay, my dinner is ready, you guys. Just took it out of the oven. Okay, like this video, give this video a thumbs up. Share, share, share with your friends and family. And if you already subscribed to my cooking channel, thank you guys so much. I appreciate it. And this is your first time ever running across my cooking channel. Um, subscribe like it share 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 with your friends and family as well that's showing me what's cooking in my on my cooking channel and also don't forget to subscribe if you don't mind and by that being said make sure that you guys turn on the notification bell if you want to see the latest uploaded video that i post on my cooking channel and you guys have a happy Sunday and be safe. Bye bye. God bless. Okay, you come. God, that's what's <clears throat> that's what you call the good Sunday dinner. My stuff bell pepper. Woo, I am full as a tick. <laughs> I just wanted to see how show you guys how I clean my plate. Yep. All right. Have a good night and be safe out there, you guys. Until then, I see you in the next video. Bye bye.